Here you have a 20 year old MSC. Tank, how old? 10 years? Or less? At least, yeah. It's fiberglass, right? Yeah. Came here before because it was waterlogged. Checked it. It's all good. Just need a new air volume control. Told a lady to watch it. You got to watch these tanks because they like to go out. We're going to pour it on there, Matt? I just uh, got some air in it. What is that? Wait. What is, what's going on here? Why is there air leaking out of the top of the tank? Must be defective. This, this is just proof of how these fiberglass tanks are junk. <laughs> it's going to leak from the top and be full of water. That's a leak in the gel coat. A little crack. And no, you really can't put a plug in there. But where the leak's at, I'm going to try. But it's probably just going to spread it out and crack it across here. Junk. Man said this tank's about five to seven years old. See what we got here. Got a leak. Just drained it down. Fixed the pressure switch. Pumped it back up. 60 pounds. And uh, it's got rabies. Foaming at the mouth. Well, mate. I call bullshit. Got one of your tanks right here. Wait, what is that? That's that's bubbles. Well, I'm surrounded by trees, and this tank has been in this shed its entire life, and it's bad. I guess the sunlight did it to it. I mean, it's not even hairy. I think the sunlight got through this shed and it uh it made this tank fail. We finally found one. A tank that failed due to sun exposure. So the pump's off, it's fixing to kick back on. It's leaking. It's got a leak. Waiting for the pump to kick back on here. It's stretching. It's not a danger though. Not now, because it lost all of its air. But it's just full of water, so all it's gonna do is go pop, and then a little water's just gonna spray out. But, yeah. No good, no good. I think it's, I think it's got a leak. How about you? Yeah. I think we found the problem. It's a good tank, man. It's got that extra UV liner on it. Protect it from the sun. Didn't he make it probably over 10 years. Ultimately, the reason these tanks fail is due to the fact of just bad design. But the reason these fiberglass tanks have so many problems, this is actually a fiberglass tank that's been converted into a filter funnel to fill up filters. So you got two and a half inch thread you can put into them. It makes good use of them. You know, it's like a second life. But um, this is the O-ring groove that used to be on top of HP tank. You see where it sits in right there. So this is the top of the tank. You can see here, fiberglass on the outside, your black uh, poly liner, and this uh, 
gel coated bond thread here. This is one of the main problems with these tanks failing is this bond actually bonds together to the plastic and it uh it fails there but there's also another place where it fails see that uh where they pinch the poly together to close up the end you can see that crack right there and that's where all the air leaks out of the tank and that's from the expansion and contraction of the tank as it fills up it, it, it's almost like a metal fatigue where it wears this shell down causes it to fail here so I've seen it fail in both ways either either through the gel coat or through here but either way both of them can happen that's why potentially a very large majority of the tanks don't make it past 10 years and not even 5% make it to 20 this is another failure I've found pretty common. Um, there's usually a label on the side that says, do not tighten, but hand tight and then a quarter of a turn when you install air volume controls. And I find that a lot of uh, technicians usually don't abide by that rule. And it's for good reason because here's another gel coat bond they create to make this side port on the tank for your air volume controls and if you screw that air volume control in here or uh, like a big bushing or something metal bushing it's gonna catch the thread where it's not threaded on the plastic liner inside and separate it from the gel coat liner and that creates a leak and the, you know the tanks not gonna waterlog but it's gonna leak right here and if it's inside somebody's shed or garage you're not gonna be too happy when you tell them you know we can't fix this so you got to have a new tank and here's the reason it fails Let's see if i can get it light there okay there it is see that crack so here's the top of that tank that uh had busted open from the side anyway so you look look down inside of here and it's the same difference. You still have that that kink. It didn't fail here. It uh it failed somewhere around this bond, which is another gel coat bond, and they got that little nipple that goes through. It's it's I mean it's decent. It has an O-ring there. That threaded nipple. But um then you can put a cap on it. But no, it it failed because the Tank cracked. Buy metal tanks and save your pump. If it leaks at the bottom, so what? You know what? You need a new tank. If you buy a fiberglass tank, you're going to need a pump and a tank. Lesson learned.